The news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. With Digicel, it's the Christmas that keeps on giving. Switch on to the fastest LTE network with any plan or bundle and get more data to enjoy. More value worth celebrating. More entertainment on the move. And more connectivity to create more Christmas moments. Plus, now there's more ways to win. With my Digicel's Pick and Win, there are thousands in cash and prizes. With Digicel, it's the Christmas that keeps on giving. The Government of the Virgin Islands, in collaboration with the Office of the Governor, is preparing to position people of the Virgin Islands to determine if same-sex marriage should be made legal in the territory. Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable Natalia D. Whitley, gave details. Greetings and God's blessings upon the people of the Virgin Islands. I come to you with an important announcement. As you may be aware, a case is currently before the High Court, which could potentially impact the social and religious fabric of our society. A same-sex couple, both Virgin Islanders, were married abroad and have mounted a legal challenge to have their union legally recognized here in the Virgin Islands. If they were to be successful, Section 13.1c of the Matrimonial Proceedings and Property Act, which provides that marriage is void unless the parties are respectively male and female, would be declared unconstitutional and therefore be null and void. As a result, same-sex marriage would become legal in the Virgin Islands. The Constitution provides that every man and woman of marriageable age has the right to marry and found a family in accordance with laws enacted by the legislature. The Matrimonial Proceedings and Property Act is a law enacted by the democratically elected legislature of the Virgin Islands. In response to this legal challenge, the Virgin Islands government, who is the respondent in this case, through counsel in the Attorney General's chambers, is vigorously defending our laws, which clearly provide that marriage should be between a man and a woman. Importantly also, we are defending the ability of the democratically elected legislature of the Virgin Islands to make legislation on this issue. We believe very firmly, firmly that such weighty matters of social and religious significance must not be decided in the courts or elsewhere. It is our belief that the people of the Virgin Islands must speak clearly and loudly on their views on marriage, and that legislator, legislators should be obligated to comply with their wishes. This is the essence of democracy. Therefore, in a special meeting of the Cabinet of the Virgin Islands, held on Friday the 16th of December 2022, Cabinet decided to refer the matter of same-sex marriage to a referendum so that the electorate can consider and decide on the question of whether same-sex marriage should be legal. This will be the first referendum in the history of the Virgin Islands. This referendum will give all eligible persons the opportunity to defend what they believe to be socially and morally right. This referendum will also consider the question of whether new legislation should be introduced to provide persons in a domestic partnership with certain legal rights, such as the ability to pass on one's estate to their partner, to their partner regardless of sex in intestacy. This approach takes into account our obligations under the European Convention on Human Rights while protecting the sanctity of marriage. 
It is important to note that as a part of the process, a resolution must be prepared and then considered and voted on in a sitting of the House of Assembly. Once successful, the governor, in consultation with myself, will affix the date of the referendum. This referendum will be preceded by a portion of time dedicated to educating the population on the subject. It is important to note that we are not the only overseas territory government to face a legal challenge on the matter of same-sex marriage. Both the Cayman Islands and Bermuda also had similar cases very recently. More will be said on this matter in the very near future. Let us pray for wisdom and divine guidance as we consider the future of what we want for our beloved Virgin Islands. Have a safe and enjoyable Christmas. Premier Whitley made the statement earlier today, December 19, 2022. With this JTV News Update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today, Digicel Plus.